A sudden rustle in the dry grass spooks the gang he's hanging out with. But Rusty's the curious type. A shingleback lizard. Heavily armoured. And with a thick tail that looks a lot like its head. Thus its other name, the two-headed skink. Rusty wants to know what he's supposed to do with this. Make friends? Try to box with it? Eat it? The lizard doesn't seem suitable for any of these activities. And Rusty eventually gives up on the relationship. This part of the central Australian outback has been hot and dry for weeks. The plants have been picked clean. When food sources dry up like this, red kangaroos are superbly adapted to survive. Still, even they can't live without water. But something is happening a hundred miles away. Where the sky has opened up, and torrential rains are soaking the parched earth. These waters will end up in the Channel Country and be funneled inland hundreds of miles away from their origin. The channels are dry now, but because the region is low-lying, they won't be for long. once an arid wasteland begins to revive. From the swirling flocks of budgerigars to the dingo mum and her pups, all are drawn to the life-giving waters. flexes its new feathers. And a young kangaroo celebrates in her own playful way. Emus are water guzzlers, and adults can drink up to four gallons a day. Like all emus, the chicks revel in a cooling bath. There are some half a million emus roaming around the outback, browsing on fruits and seeds. And what's good for the emus is also good for the rest of the ecosystem. As they move through the bush, they scatter the seeds of the flowers and fruit they've eaten along the way, which will sprout and become new plants. The weeks turn into months. Rusty. Red kangaroos are built to get where they want to go. Unfortunately, sometimes, especially when they're inexperienced, they get someplace they really don't want to be. The inland taipan is the most toxic snake on Earth. There's enough venom in one bite to kill a hundred full-grown men. and it specializes in killing mammals. The Australian desert is the kingdom of the reptiles, but kangaroos know too well to leave all snakes alone. Brown snakes kill more humans than any other snakes in Australia.
but it's not the biggest reptile in the neighbourhood. This is... The Parenti, reaching eight feet long, venomous and fast on its feet. A large Parenti will eat a small kangaroo. But today, it's got its eye on an eastern brown snake. The forked tongue of the Parenti follows the brown snake's chemical scent trail and leads him to an abandoned burrow. A burrow with only one entrance. With a Parenti in the picture, a sanctuary can easily become a death trap. The body of one fearsome reptile disappears into the body of another. The months roll on and Rusty has grown in both size and experience. He weighs 150 pounds now and has dozens of sparring matches under his belt. Today, he finds himself with a mob he's met before. The one with the tough male who intimidated him last time. But that was five years ago and Rusty's not running away this time. Each tries to attack his rival's head. Each instinctively keeps his own head back out of range. Although highly ritualized, fights between dominant males can mean a future as king or a loner, depending on the outcome. Testicles can be retracted. Don't want those damaged. Rusty with the darker fur is putting up a good fight, but the alpha male is more experienced. Females don't care who wins, just so long as he's got good genes. But Rusty is younger than his opponent, and in top fighting form. Finally, the king goes down. Now the mob is paying attention. Rusty's the top male now, and to the victor go the spoils. His first choice is this female, though he needs to give her urine the sniff test to make sure she's ovulating. She's ready. But Rusty has only a brief window of opportunity. She may only be receptive for a matter of hours. Better get to it. Mating doesn't take long, or wouldn't if there were only one female to consider. But Rusty's got miles to go before he sleeps. He's King Kangaroo now, and in addition to regular mating duties, he'll have to fend off other young roos who'd like to knock him off his throne, just as he did his predecessor. But that's not all Rusty has to worry about. The temperature is soaring and the land is drying out. Evaporation is sucking the life out of everything, flora and fauna alike. You can never tell when the weather will change, only that it will. And that's the origin of some of the red kangaroo's most amazing adaptations.